Shut up. Oh. I'm well known, <laughs> apparently, to the British public for my ability to be polite to everyone that I meet. You are quite polite, actually. But this is what she says on her internet this morning. We're doing it. But our next guest, uh, Julie, I'm going to start Hartley Brewer, has found herself in hot water with a tweet she sent out about her taxi driver this yes, week. Yes, Julia, who looks so charming and lovely this <laughs> morning. Isn't, isn't at uh, all. But she said, my Uber driver just proudly told me that his car has zero emissions. I replied, I couldn't care less. Now he's looking sad. Well, he would, wouldn't he? Julia, goodness me. I mean, a comment caused a storm on Twitter, really, about modern manners, so <laughs> we've lost the ability to be courteous to others. So, Julia, <laughs> um, were you rude? Were you no. aware it could have been seen as rude? I'm looking back at the tweet now, obviously, with the reaction, I realised I was the one in the car. It was actually a really friendly conversation we had. It was a 20-minute journey. I get Ubers all the time. I've got, I have say, a 4.3 out of 5 Uber rating, which suggests I'm not rude to cab drivers. Genuinely, uh, the conversation was, it wasn't a chit-chat. He said, he, it was his patter. He said, you'll be pleased to know this is an electric car and that, that means it has zero emissions. And I went, I couldn't care less. Because, because I don't well, want to I know. Don't I don't really want to know about it wasn't, his car. He didn't so. throw you out no, he the wasn't, car no, no, and he give wasn't. you a mouthful. He went, you no. went, I'm looking sad. I'm not trying to he be rude. He looked sad. No, he looked sad because he realised at that point that I was a bad person because I don't play along with the PC eco stuff and sort of go, oh, how wonderful, I'm so pleased. I'm getting a cab. I could have cycled it or walked it. I got a, a cab. A lot quicker than this <laughs> zero emissions car. No, it was a good, we had a perfectly fair. friendly chat. There was nothing. It, we, and it was interpreted. I completely understand why people might think that. Yeah. Was I was there. I I had the conversation with the guy. He wasn't <coughs> offended. He was just saddened by the fact that I was one of those terrible, horrible people who don't think that green cars are the saving of the planet. OK, but I think the point mm. is, is that you put that on Twitter mm. and the way it read, yeah. it looked like you had been rude mm. and you didn't mind the fact you'd been rude. I think yeah. that's what people Yeah, no, exactly. Like. But, but what was interesting, I've, had a, I've been in Twitter storms mm. before and I would say each one, people think mm. like, you're, you're a controversialist. Like, no, I'm always amazed by these things. A, a, an off-the-cuff jokey remark about Emma Watson uh, getting her boobs out in a, a newspaper magazine after going on about women and, and feminism and the things. I, I got a huge amount of abuse. And what's fascinating is people will then say, you're really rude, mm. and then use... Some of the vilest, not mm. quite rude, some of the vilest words in the English language to say, you're really rude, you're a, and you think, <laughs> irony? Yeah. No, but my thing is, it was a conversation I had. I the only reason jacking. people are up... She hasn't spoken yeah. yet. We're Stop being, being rude. rude. Let Jack speak. Rude. Jack, uh, it seems to me that one person's rude is another person's plain speaking. Mm -hmm. Are we in a mess? Well, I, I think it's, you know, I think it's... It's difficult on Twitter to get something across, firstly, but it did come across like Julia was, A, a little bit curt and B, proud of it. And, mm. and then, rightly or, rightly or wrongly, that may not have been what happened in the car, but that's how it came across. Mm. And what that happens when you've got a large platform is people take that to reinforce their own behaviour. Oh, you're rude, so I can be rude. And I think we are becoming ruder as a nation. There's can I ask you something, Jack? Do you not think we're actually just becoming politically correct mad? I mean, it, no. it, that wasn't rude, was it? She said... I'm not really bothered, mate. It's I'm probably I unreading care something. Lexis was rude. Well, you can just, I mean, you know, you can Isn't shut rude down saying your car's rubbish, you can't drive them, get it now, because I'd frankly no, prefer to walk. I couldn't care walk. less, it's dismissive. And it doesn't matter in what circumstances you use that. He's obviously proud of his car, trying to have a chat, and you go, I couldn't care less. It's, you know, no, you he might was as well say, shut the He was making up. a political statement, but it's no, because it's a political statement, you... No, no, it, no, I was, I was the one who had the conversation, <laughs> I can assure you. Oh, did he start the context, talking about politics after that? No, 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 but that's... What's your Uber rating? 4.8. There you are. If you were polite, you'd have a point five difference, not that really any... I'm sorry to have to wrap it up. But we are. We are. And I can only think that you two talking about Uber are going to get some very rude texts and tweets from black no, cab drivers. Yeah, oh, no, I blocked all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> can I just say, um, you said something very interesting this morning that people can think I? that I'm rude and I'm not, and they think you're really nice and you're right, Grumpy. That's true, actually. He's very polite in real life. Uh,